I am uh, responsible for our server business at Dell, uh, and I want to talk specifically, uh, give you some context around what we see are the customer issues there, and then what we're doing about it. So if you step back and you look at the data center uh, in, the, in the space of what we call enterprise computing, uh, when we talk to customers, and we talk to thousands of them every day in this space, uh, we're essentially hearing two classes of problems. Uh, and I've talked to a few of you about this before uh, already. One class is what I'll call uh, infrastructure capacity challenges. So you know that's the that's the case where you have customers who have a growing business, uh, but their data center is also growing. The problem is uh, they can't afford to build a new one, and so you, they start running into issues like space, uh, power. They literally can't get enough power to the data center in some cases. Uh, cooling, uh, they, have, they have massive ser server farms, uh, and maybe they can get enough power, but they can't cool it. Uh, and those conversations start manifesting themselves in, Dell, uh, how can you help us get better density in our data center? Uh, how can you help us, essentially what it comes down to from a business perspective, how can you help us maintain and extend the investment that we've made uh, in facilities to date because we can't afford the capital expenditure uh, to go build new facilities. So that's, that's one class of problem. Uh, the second one is really around complexity. And IT resources in general are not growing. IT managers, CIOs, want to be business value add, but their resources are not growing. Meanwhile, as we have moved uh, from the mainframe to risk Unix to x86, which has brought huge benefits uh, to, to the industry, uh, it's also caused some complexity in the industry. Uh, and, and what you'll commonly uh, you know, hear referred to as server sprawl. How do you manage that? Uh, so resources staying flat, budgets perhaps staying flat, complexity growing exponentially in some cases. And so you know, the customers in that case are saying, Dell, how can you help us uh, simplify our environment? Uh, we can't do it ourselves. Um, when, when we talk to HP and IBM, uh, they have answers. There's no question about that. They're talking about the same types of things. But you know, generally, those answers are either vapor or they're expensive, best case. And we can't really afford so, uh So Project Hybrid uh, is something that we're announcing today for the first time. Uh, it's an initiative to tackle both of those problems simultaneous, uh, especially when it comes to simplifying, uh, simplifying the environment. Uh, our competitors thrive on complexity. And the problem is our customers don't thrive on complexity. And, th and that's, what we're, that's what we're solving with Project Hybrid. First of all, uh, it's not vapor. It's something that will become a reality uh, in the second half of this year. Um, and we won't talk about all the details today, but we'll talk about some of the details. Uh, but it is not next year, it is not a five-year vision. Uh, it is something that we will offer uh, in the second half of this year, and it will grow over time. It will start in the data center environment, uh, but there's a lot of a flexibility and a lot of work that we're doing with Kevin's team and our other development teams around the company to make sure that this vision extends from desktop to data center. So Project Hybrid in its first incarnation uh, in, in, the, in the server and the data center and what we call the enterprise computing space uh, will consist of a few different components. Uh, number one, there will be uh, optimized uh, server products uh, unlike anything that the industry has seen today. Uh, that doesn't mean that Project Hybrid is a line of servers. That's not what it is. It will have products associated with it like I said, they're optimized for particular environments, uh, and, that, and, and these are types of products that, uh, that the rest of the industry is not doing. Specifically, uh, where we are investing are in the areas of virtualization uh, and energy efficiency. Power cooling is a, is a different way to say that. It's that we're 15% uh, more efficient uh, than the equivalent HP server, about 10% more efficient uh, than the equivalent IBM server. Uh, that's a big deal for customers. Every watt counts. Uh, but you know we're not going to stop there. And part of Project Hybrid is you're going to see us invest more and more into that space and take it across a wider variety of our products uh, and a wider part of our volume. 
in the market. There are not really products on the market today uh, that are optimized uh, for virtualization, for performance, for ease of deployment, et cetera. So part of the project hybrid is we're going to do that. But you will see uh, unique software capabilities embedded in some cases, uh, particularly focused on uh, in the areas, again, of virtualization and energy efficiency in phase one, um, that will ease deployment, will ease management uh, to reduce the complexity that we talk. In some cases, we will be able to cut, to cut the deployment of virtual machines to minutes. Okay, That is a big deal for IT departments. Those are capabilities that do not exist today on the marketplace. Normally, at Dell, get recognized for our services capabilities, or frankly, talk much about our service capabilities. Uh, in, in Project Hybrid, that is an integral part uh, of what we'll be doing. Uh, so Project Hybrid will consist of uh, much higher level service and customer experience level. Uh, we will have uh, uh, transition management uh, capabilities that make it easier for customers to move from one generation to the next and upgrade their technology more simply so that they can grow their businesses. Uh, and, uh, and we'll also bring to bear our professional services capabilities, uh, virtual, virtualization readiness assessments, uh, data center uh, energy assessments uh, that will be part of uh, this project hybrid portfolio that we'll bring to market in the second half of the year. Uh, we believe that blades are an important option for customers. Now, I stress option, not a mandate as I, I think some of our competitors would have our customers believe. And, uh, I did want to show you uh, what our next generation of blades will look like. Uh, by the way, this will be part of Project Hybrid. Uh, you know, as we've been working on this uh, for the last couple of years, uh, our blade infrastructure uh, has been part of this equation. Uh, not all of the equation, but part of the equation. And as we launch Project Hybrid more formally uh, in the second half of the year, uh, our Blades products will be part of them. So, you know, I, I, I'm not going to get into speeds and feeds. Uh, I think that would be a little bit premature, but, but I think, you know, I, I did want to share with you, uh, you know, just some ideas around, uh, you know, the, the new Blades computing paradigm. So, uh, you know, as you can see, uh, we're going to high density uh, architectures. Uh, we've spent a lot of time uh, focusing on uh, the usability, the management, and the simplification of blades. Uh, our testing thus far, um, this product, which is a proto, by the way, uh, versus, uh, versus the competitors' products that are in the market today, uh, we're estimating uh, that Dell Blade products will be 20% more energy efficient than what HP is shipping today, or will be shipping in the near future. Frankly, I've, I've been shocked uh, by the inattention uh, to our competitors to energy efficiency, given all the rhetoric uh, that they discuss. I think our energy smart testing uh, is proving that out. Our initial testing on the Blades is proving that out. It's critical. Uh, everyone's talking about it. Uh, we're gonna win in this area. So if you spin it around, obviously, um, you know, uh, we have uh, multiple, you know, multiple redundant cooling, redundant power uh, switches uh, uh, in the back and, and the features that you'd expect and the fabrics and capability uh, for networking and storage uh, that, uh, that you'd expect out of, a, out of a leading blades provider. And as I said, this will be available in the second half of the year as well.